I was asked one time in a television interview what I thought was my greatest God-given gift. And what I said was cheerfulness. The ability to laugh, the ability to smile, not just on the outside, but on the inside. To view life as truly a funny experience. To, to enjoy each day and to laugh. And, and I invite you to do this this weekend with the 10 times rule. Increase your cheerfulness by 10. Wake up in the morning and if you're cheerful at this level, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. Pretty soon in doing that, it won't be a faked response, but a real response coming forth from inside of you naturally. And you'll have an incredibly fantastic, funny, enjoyable weekend. It has been said cheerfulness strengthens the heart and makes us try harder to have a good life. Thus, as God's servants, we must always be in good spirits. In Proverbs 15, verse 15, it says, A miserable heart means a miserable life. A cheerful heart fills the day with song. Cheerfulness is a gift that we give to others, and we also give it to ourselves. As we cheer other people up, we invariably cheer ourselves up also. But the opposite is also true, my friend. When we're in a downcast mood and we share that with others, well, when we bring other people down, we can't bring them down without bringing ourselves down. And uh, we tend to stay down a lot longer than they do. Are you a cheerful person most of the time? Do you go out of your way to make other people smile? Do you share good humor and jokes and just enjoyment of life itself? After all, you should, because you live in God's world. You live in a place that is meant for your enjoyment. I've heard people say things like, life is hard, and then you die. Well, what a bleak attitude that is. Life is to be savored. Life is to be enjoyed. Now, do you have to wait till every one of the jigsaw puzzles fits into place? All your problems are solved and you're just laying back on the sofa without anything to think about? No, that's not life at all. You can enjoy your life even though you still have challenges. You can enjoy your life even though you still have a heavy workload to do. Why not do it? Instead of trudging along, carrying the weight, do it with God and enjoy your day and enjoy it no matter what. When you are a cheerful person, everything changes around you. For one thing, people are drawn to you and for another, they become cheerful because of you. And you can't give it away. It comes back recirculated over and over again, increasing your cheerfulness and your joy. There is a worldwide shortage of cheerful people. If you want to be needed in this life, if you want to be someone that everyone else wants to be around, then you be the cheerful light you are a light of the world. And one of the ways that you're a light is through your smile, through your laugh, through your absolute joy coming forth from inside of you. When you are a joyful person, you're a person that everyone else seeks. Employers seek this type of person. People in groups that you don't know, strangers seek this type of person. It is the type of person that everyone wishes would be in their day. Because 
You can't keep it to yourself. You give it away automatically and they carry some of that joy home with them. Every family, every school, every workplace, every church, and church is especially a place that cheerfulness is needed, especially when there's a lot of challenges going on with uh, perhaps people facing sickness and people facing difficulty. Often a church is a hospital for people that are hurting, and therefore you can get down. If you're a leader of the church, you can get down. If uh, you're a congregant, you can get down. Seeing friends and family facing different difficulties. You can stay down there, or you can lift yourself up. And when you do, you're ministering to their soul and to yours. Be the one cheerful person. Start a chain of cheerfulness beginning this weekend. Don't delay. Be cheerful today. Increase your cheerfulness by 10 and see what it does. It becomes a magnet. The world needs your gift of cheerfulness. And so do you. God bless you, my friend. With joy.